So here's a short story. It's definitely going to make a lot of your guys' blood boil. I'm just making a disclaimer here in the beginning. All about a guy who foolishly got involved with and then married a single MOM. A single MOM when he started dating her that had, I believe, a 14-year-old daughter. And from the get-go, the daughter was making everything difficult. Made abundantly clear she doesn't like him. Whoever, whatever the reason is, thought that you know he was replacing her dad. I don't know what. Making things difficult. What married the mom, and lo and behold, not long after they got married, she then made it said thing. I have to watch what I say here. Said things about him that caused the cops to come and arrest him. And the whole neighborhood, everybody around the town knew what the reason why. But of course, it wasn't true. And now the guy is having to deal with the whole situation and has presently left the wife and is wondering what to do about the situation. And once again, backing up, guys, why don't get involved with single MOMs. While there are some good ones out there, no matter what, there's always baggage, particularly if they're kids. And if those kids are little a-holes to you and they're teenagers, and frankly, if they're gals, they could say things and immediately... The guy's guilty and his whole life can be ruined. And you got to be so careful here. Title. My stepdaughter, an 18-year-old gal, I, I got to watch what I say, said I did certain things. I kid you not, I can't say the A word. You know what I'm talking about here. Said I did certain things, S word things. She lied and now my wife just wants me to forgive her and move on. I don't know if I can. He says me, a 45-year-old male, and my wife, 45, met four years ago and got married last year. When I first met Vanessa, she was a single parent. We met through mutual friends. She told me she had a daughter named Emily. I was fine with that. Smack! You're learning, or you're going to learn. But meeting Emily was a different story. She made it clear she didn't like me, which was understandable. She was a moody teenager who was used to having Vanessa all to herself. I didn't push a relationship between me and Emily when me and Vanessa started getting serious. Guys, right then and there, if the kid is being an a-hole to you and making it difficult, that just walk away. Seriously. You don't need that. And they can continue to make that your life. Having a step-parent myself, I understand it's important not to force the relationship. I gave her a choice like my stepmother did for me. I made it clear that whether she liked me or not, I would, I would be there for her if she needed me to be there. That's all nice and fine and dandy in the movies and the shows, but in reality, that just tells the the kid that I can be, you can be a jerk to me, no matter, and I'll still always be here, and they'll keep being a jerk to you no matter what. It didn't happen overnight, but she slowly started warming up to me, but she reverted back to being distant again when we got announced we were getting engaged, and she was completely cold towards us when we asked if she wanted help with planning the wedding. She heard us when she said she wouldn't be coming to the wedding. We tried talking to her and suggesting therapy. She refused both suggestions. We had to respect her decision. She went low contact with us after we got married and moved out, moved in with her aunt. As much as it hurt, we decided it was her choice. So let's make this clear. From the get-go, this girl was being a pain in the ass to this guy. And no doubt to her mother. And her mother is aware of this. Okay, As obvious as can be, this girl has a serious problem with this guy. And serious problem with them getting married. And it's been difficult, blah, 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 blah. The mother should be aware of this. Now watch what happens. Two weeks ago, my wife came up crying and screaming at me about me S-word doing something, you get the point, to Emily. I was taken off guard, shocked and confused. She told me Emily said that I had been doing that when she wasn't home, and that's why she moved out. The police came and I was arrested. <clears throat> the whole neighborhood saw me get taken. It was, a nice exp it was not a nice experience. Long story short, Emily's story did not line up with the times I was, I was meant to have been home with her, and I could actually confirm where she was. She told the truth and said that she only said that because she was mad at me and Vanessa for getting married. Right there. Wife screaming at him. The cops come and arrest him. The whole neighborhood sees this. The, try t the whole town's gossiping about this. Can you imagine if the timelines did match up? like she was just living there and she didn't confess this guy be in prison you know what happens to guys that you you know what i mean in prison but uh, people regardless if this guy if she admitted to this people you know how gossip works you ever play that game whisper down the lane when you're a kid you, you you have like a whole bunch of kids and you whisper a message and by by like the 20th kid it's completely warped and screwed up that's the point with gossip people are always going to think oh he got off on a technicality a lawyer got him off his reputation has been destroyed and about his job. All because this brat, this a-hole, did that to him. The, the prosecutor should be going after that girl. 
and this guy should be done with them and uh, going after her for defamation. Because she's 18, it's a legal adult. Right there, guys. And the mother should have known the daughter has been, hadn't, should have questioned the daughter about this whole thing. But then again, the daughter probably said, hey, maybe this is why she had a problem with it from the beginning. Who knows? I was, really, I was released, but my reputation is in shambles. I live in a small community, and word travels fast, and something like that is heavily frowned upon. Right. He's always going to be known as the guy that was accused of that. People will always be questioning it. I wife came home when she apologized, but I was mixed up. She said she was protecting Emily and wasn't thinking straight that day. Oh, no, you weren't, honey. I understand her protecting her daughter, but what I didn't understand was her jumping the gun and not giving me a chance to prove myself innocent. Because her daughter was a convincing liar, that's why. And she's an emotional mother. And the girl knew exactly what buttons to push. Even though her mother should have known darn well, from the get-go, the daughter's been a problem with this guy. She asked me to forgive Emily. <laughs> Fat chance. But I told her I need to get away for a bit. She cried some more, but I just couldn't conf comfort her. I just packed a couple bags and came to stay with my cousin. I've been here since then, and my wife and Emily have tried to ring and call me, but I won't answer. I know everything I have to, f I have to face them, but right now, I can't. I don't know how to cope with all this. Maybe someone can help me with some suggestions. Bro, it is over. You cannot stay with her anymore. She's only going to pull this type of crap again. And some people could say, well, if you divorce the mother, the girl wins. But you know what? There's no, there's, there's no winning in this situation. There's degrees of losing. Look what happened the first time, okay? This guy, they've been married either under a year or a year, so hopefully there's a way to annul this, annul the marriage, annulment. And if not, then a full-on divorce. But this guy has every right to sue her and in case the mother, but the, the daughter definitely, for defamation. Look what this could do to his reputation and where he lives, his job. This guy's going to have to pick up and move. Because the rest of his life where he lived right now, everybody's going to be looking at him like that. Okay? And this girl, and it really boils down to the prosecutor. It all depends on where they live. The prosecutor could just, you know, because she obviously confessed to the cops that she made it up. The prosecutor should go after her, and there should be consequences for this. I don't care if she's 18. This is a serious... This guy's life has been... It could have been way worse than going to prison, but uh, regardless of his job, his standing in the community, no. This, he can't be married to her anymore. No matter how much she says she's sorry and all that, he's always going to be dealing with her. And look how she immediately went to jump and protect the child. And I get it's a tough situation for the mother, but come on here. But this only goes to show you guys, don't get involved with the single MOMs. And if you do, because there, there are some decent ones out there, I know some, but still, there's going to be baggage with the kids. And if those kids are being a little shitheads, don't waste your time. That's only going to come and impact your life. And look at this this guy here. This guy didn't do anything wrong. And I'm sure he was nothing but nice to that kid. And look how, you know, but that kid needs to learn this lesson. And, but frankly, the first thing he needs to do is get through the either the annulment or the divorce. Get that done over. Then he can go after the girl for defamation or something like that. But uh, he cannot let this slide. But something tells me, depending on where they live, that prosecutor may just hear the tears, hear the waterworks. She's 18 and let it go. And then no no lesson is learned on the young, young gal's mind. But goes to show you guys, be careful. Watch out for them.